Okay, what's up you guys? I just want to do a quick short video today um, uh, about getting stuff or anything done inside your crankcase. You know, I hardly see any videos or anybody talking about how to get anything out of there without splitting the case and cleaning it out in that way. So, another easier way you, uh, you can do it is um, what I did here was I just got some rather regular um, conventional motor oil from Walmart, about two bucks a bottle and some cotton swabs I got for 98 cents as well and a uh, let's see a food kebab stick and what I basically did was I got let's see I got uh, them like this together you know and right around here I wrapped uh, electrical tape and maybe about two or three times you know held on pretty good and uh, with the q-tip on the end of this stick I would stick it down in here clean out any dirt debris or any kind of metal shaving that went in there by accident or anything like that you know I clean it out and it worked you know without spinning the case and uh, that's basically my method of uh, cleaning anything that that went inside your uh, crank here so uh, as you can see all the q-tips that I went through and this is a KX125 here so um, that's what I basically did you know and at the same time um, you can get some of this oil and some people say it's bad and you shouldn't you shouldn't do this but I did anyways but you know I mean do it at your own risk you know I mean this is my bike so you know I'm, I'm doing it and it's, it's, it's real good it works so I pour oil down here maybe about quarter way you know not full to the top and you're gonna want to spin the crank here and wherever you spun the oil you put in there all the br the bris should come out through the back of here or should come out through hang on oh, here So what you're going to want to do is you want to stick a rag maybe right here and you're going to keep spinning it until that oil covers the rag as well, you know, and all the oil that was coming up, all the debris should come over the rag as well and the rag will catch whatever any debris you have and anything you have at the bottom of the crankshaft in here, um, like I said, you're going to want to use the cotton swab and the stick and stick method, I like to call it. But anyways, um, that's a easy way of cleaning out anything that fell down here inside your crank without splitting the whole case itself. So that saves you a whole lot in a big hassle. Um, mostly all people would say you need to split the case, you know, have a mechanic or do it on your own time, you know, split the case and do all that stuff. But like I said, you know, it, it's too much big of a hassle and too much work, you know, and most people don't have time on their hands, you know. So even though if you got like a, a sir clip that fell down in here, you know, by accident or anything like that, you know, you can get a small um, extendable uh, magnet and stick it in between there, you know, and try to fish it out as best as you can without splitting the case, you know. I mean, it'll save you a lot of the time to do, you know. But um, this is my method of doing it. And uh, I, I don't really see a lot of videos like this on YouTube, so I, I thought I might as well put one up and show a better way to do it. Um, and yeah, and it worked. Because I had some, some weird gold flakes that fell down inside my cylinder or uh, crank here when it seized. So... I cleaned, I just about cleaned everything that was in there, and now it's super clean now. So you're just gonna want to uh, use a cotton swab stick method uh, over and over until you got nothing left in there, and also using oil at the same time, you know, and spinning the crank and getting everything you need out of there without splitting the case. And remember, uh, do at your own risk. Um, I did, and it worked great, um, 
Everything seems to be good. Everything's good. Oh, the stuff you're seeing on top of my crank right here is just leftover uh, cotton from the cotton swabs. But that's no biggie, you know, that, that can be cleaned right off the top. But, um, that's my method. Uh, if you want to leave a comment down below, leave a comment, uh, subscribe to the video, uh, that would be a big help to me. Um, other than that, thank you for watching the video.